I'm Joe. And I'm Jack. And this is how we built the Athena Side Mount Functional Trainer Attachment. The Athena is a functional trainer attachment that exists within the footprint of your rack without losing core functionality and can exist as a single side or a dual sided setup. Throughout this video, we'll show you both selectorized and plate loaded versions and also how it can be configured with a selectorized lat lower rail. So what's the difference between an Athena and a standalone functional trainer? Well, you don't need a dedicated space when you put the Athena on your rack like you would with a functional trainer. It's also available in a plate loaded option, so it's much cheaper than a standalone unit. And it's versatile. You can order this in either a single sided or dual sided option. And just as a note, the left and right sides of the Athena are not interchangeable. If you start out with a right side and you want to move it to your left, it's not possible. You'll need to purchase a left side separately. Let's talk about the overall design and engineering of the Athena. We'll start with the trolleys. These are the exact same trolleys that are used on the Aries. We had a goal to make them light and smooth so that they're easy to move with one hand and yet strong enough that they can handle your heavy weight stacks. We accomplished this in a few ways. We added some cutouts to reduce the overall weight and also enhance the visual appeal so you can see the pulleys in action. Then we added plastic liners for the least friction possible on the uprights. Finally, we added a knurled handle and an oversized pop pin for a secure grip. We also machined the sleeve of the pop pin so it has a really smooth and satisfying feel as you pull and release it. And then we added an extra security pin for safety. Let's talk about pulleys and cables. The Athena uses the same aluminum pulleys and cables as the Aries attachment. And as a reminder, we've added the cable retainers so that your cable doesn't come off the track during usage. Since we're using the same trolley as the Aries, the front pulley utilizes 180 degrees of swivel, which allows for versatility of your movements, and it also allows you to work on the side of your rack. Cable travel only changes with the height of the rack. It's not affected by the cross member depth at all. So a 93 inch rack will have 106 inches of cable travel and an 80 inch rack will have 82.8 inches of cable travel. Long story short, you have plenty of cable travel. Let's talk about the weight plates. The Athena utilizes the same weight plates as the Aries. These are the same hot rolled steel plates with a machine finish, which means that your pin always slides in smoothly. These plates also have a 3% weight tolerance. The pin is also magnetized so it stays securely into place. We've also added an extra hole to the head plate so that you can store your pin when you only want to use the top plate. The Athena comes with a 170 pound weight stack. It utilizes a two to one cable ratio, so 170 pounds will feel like 85 pounds in your hand. Each weight plate comes with a sticker that shows what it actually feels like, so you don't have to do the math in your head. The weight stack is also upgradable to 220 pounds, which will feel like 110 pounds in your hand. Let's talk about the plate loaded version. Each weight horn has a loadable length of 10.6 inches and the entire system has a maximum capacity of 540 pounds, which will feel like 270 pounds in your hand. So both the plate loaded and selectorized Athenas feature band pegs. And this is a great way to, if you really want the selectorized version, but you want to upgrade this thing to 540 pounds of stack, you can throw some bands on and increase your resistance. That also works well for the plate loaded, like maybe you don't have enough plates and you can just throw some bands across it and increase your resistance. The other cool thing about bands is it's a great way to like change your training stimuli. So what it'll do is at the top of your movement, at the end of the range of motion, you're gonna feel a lot more resistance than you will at the bottom. So another thing we get asked is, can you use something like a gym pin with the selectorized Athena? And the answer is yes, but only up to that max weight capacity of 540 pounds. Now I'm gonna show you a couple ways to utilize band pegs on your Athena. If you're able to use a pair of band pegs per side, you can do it like this, put one on the other side, and then you're ready to go. However, we know that having a pair of band pegs per side can be expensive and not everyone has that. So we also devised a way to use one band peg for the whole stack. You'll take your one, run it over the stack like this, put it under the band peg, and then you're ready to go. For the plate loaded version, it looks pretty similar. 
You can take the band peg and either run it on the inside or the outside of the plates, depending on what you prefer. And again, if you only have one band peg, you can slip it through the trolley and then string it along the other side. So we've talked about max capacities for each. Now let's talk about minimum usable weights for each version. For the selectorized version, the minimum usable weight is going to be the weight of the head plate. It weighs 20 pounds, but it'll feel like 10 pounds in your hand. For the plate loaded version, the trolley weighs 14 pounds, so the minimum usable weight will be seven pounds in your hand. Now, while we don't expect this to be a common scenario, if you put a plate loaded Athena on one side of your rack and a selectorized Athena on the other side of the same rack, because the minimum usable weights are different, they'll feel different in your hand. So here's an example for you. If you select 50 pounds on your selectorized stack, that includes the weight of the head plate, so it'll feel like 25 pounds in your hand. If you add 50 pounds to your plate loaded trolley, that'll include the 50 pounds worth of plates plus the 14 pounds of the weight of the trolley itself. So it'll really feel closer to 32 pounds in your hand. If you wanna get them to balance, you'll have to do a little bit of math to get them to equal the same thing. To address the concerns with the D-handles, your Athena will come with one urethane D-handle per side, which is the same as what comes with the Aries. We are working on upgraded D-handle options, which will be made available soon. So let's talk about the Athena and its compatibility. I'm gonna go over the Athena and the PR5000. A quick note, if you have a PR5000 V1, it is not compatible with the Athena. If you have any questions which rack you have, we'll have that information on the website. But we haven't sold the PR5000 V1 in about four years. So the Athena is compatible with a six post rack and you can have a 30 inch cross member in the front, a 41 inch cross member in the front, or a 16 inch cross member in the front. And that would all be with a 16 inch cross member in the back. But you can also use it with a four post rack that is only the single 16 inch cross member. Now we're gonna talk about compatibility with the PR4000, which is the rack we have here. As a note, any configuration of the PR4000 must have the updated PR4000 16 inch cross members. If you're not sure about which ones you have, refer to our website and we'll make it very clear for you. For a six post rack, you can configure a setup with a 16 inch cross member, a 24 inch cross member, a 30 inch cross member, or a 41 inch cross member in the front, and then our new 16 inch cross members in the back. Please note, because the handles on the trolley for the PR4000 come off the back of the rack instead of off the side, a four post PR4000 is not compatible because it interferes with the guide rods here. So a lot of people have asked us, why can't I just take an Athena and put it in like the back of my four post rack uh, towards the rear of the, of the cross member? And the reason for that is because the hole spacing on the cross members is not consistent between the sizes. So a 16 inch, uh, the hole starts further away from the upright than it does on this 30 inch. And because of that, it makes the Athena only compatible in the configurations that we have listed before. And just to clarify, the Athena is not compatible with an Omni, an Apollo, or any of our 1000 series racks, and it will not work with any of our competitors' racks. One of the most common configurations we see is a six post rack. A lot of people get a six post rack because they can add weight storage to the back without losing any functionality on the rack. Our standard weight horns come with these small rubber gaskets that protect your plates from the bolt plate when you're putting them on. The issue is, is because the weight stack protrudes a little bit to the outside of the rack, when you put a plate on, your plate comes very close, if not already touching the weight stack. So to resolve this, we've included six two inch rubber spacers per unit that will replace your standard ones. And these give your plates a little bit more space away from the stack. So let's talk about the plate loaded Athena. As you can see, I've already preloaded a bumper plate on the trolley. And when I put a plate on the weight horn, they overlap. So for this reason, you can't have your weight storage in the standard position with a plate loaded Athena. Why can't I just load the inner weight horn so I can keep all my weight storage horns in the back? Well, the answer is you absolutely can. However, the odds are you're not gonna be able to get this thing up to the maximum weight capacity. And then on top of that, if you stack this one side full of weight, now you're loading your trolley like really unevenly. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna add a ton of friction. You're gonna wear out your bushings faster. And we cannot, we cannot recommend this for those reasons. 
Another option with the plate loaded Athena is just to use alternative plate storage, like our plate tree here. And we have plenty of other options for something like this on the website. A unique option for storage on your plate loaded Athena is to add two cross members in an upright to make a wing on the side of your rack. The cross members will need to be a minimum distance of 30 inches so that the plates on your weight storage upright do not interfere with the plates on your weight trolley. And here's a picture of that. So most of our questions have been about using the lat low row attachment in conjunction with the Athena. This option is great for people who already own either our plate loaded or our selectorized lat low row attachment and that want to add the functionality of a functional trainer to the rack without having to start over. The important thing to know here is that whether or not you have the plate loaded or the selectorized lat low row attachment, you have to upgrade to the new RBS 2.0 in order to be able to use it with the Athena. So now we're going to compare a dual-sided Athena with a lat low row attachment to an Aries. We'll start with the plate loaded. So the most obvious comparison is going to be cost. A dual-sided plate loaded Athena with a plate loaded lat low row attachment is going to be significantly cheaper than an Aries. But remember, you need a lot of plates to be able to use it and somewhere to store them. But don't forget, you can use band pegs with the Athena, whereas you can't with the Aries. Let's talk max weight capacity. For the lat low row portion, a plate loaded lat low row attachment has a max weight of 550 pounds. The Aries has a base stack of 260 and is upgradable to 310. You can use something like a gym pin to upgrade your stacks, but we'll talk about that in a later video. For the functional trainer aspect, the plate loaded Athena can be loaded to a max weight of 540 pounds, which will feel like 270 pounds in your hand. For the Aries, each stack will feel like 130 pounds for the base stack and then upgraded to 155. Now let's talk about the selectorized version of the setup. For the selectorized version of the lat low row functionality, the selectorized lat low row attachment starts at a base stack of 200 pounds and is upgradable to 300 pounds. And as a reminder, the Aries starts at 260 and is upgradable to 310. And don't forget, the selectorized lat low row attachment has the option to utilize band pegs. For the functional trainer aspect, the selectorized Athena starts with a base stack of 170 pounds, upgradable to 220 pounds, which will feel like 85 pounds and 110 pounds respectively. As a reminder, the Aries feels like 130 pounds with the base stack and is upgradable to 155. Both can utilize gym pins to increase the max load of your stack, but the Athena can also use band pegs. Now that we've talked about max capacities, let's talk about the differences in footprint for each setup. For both of these, you're gonna add six inches to the front of your rack in the trolley. Now we're looking at a 4,000 right now, which has the handle in the back, but the 5,000 will have the handle off to the side, which will add five inches. Now here's where things start to get a little different. The Athena adds 1.8 inches to the top of your rack, whereas the Aries adds 1.2. But also note, the lat low row attachment is going to add 3.3 inches to the top of your rack. So overall, when you're comparing the dual sided Athena with a lat low row attachment, it's going to add more height than an Aries. Now let's talk about the back of the rack. Both the Aries and the Athena on their own don't add any depth to the back of your rack. But if you're doing the dual sided Athena with a lat low row attachment, the lat low row attachment will add eight and a half inches to the back of your rack for a six post and 27 and a half inches for a four post. Now the band pegs that come with the Athena add 3.7 inches to the outside and the inside of your rack. If you have a 5,000 rack, this is still less than the added width that comes from the handle, but if you have a 4,000 rack, this is the amount that will be added to the width of your rack. So we've talked about the space differences and the weight differences between an Aries and a dual-sided Athena with a lat pull-down and low row. Functionally, these are very similar, but the only main difference is that with an Aries, you can do unilateral work on the lat pull-down and low row attachment. Let's talk about assembly times. The Aries takes about two to 10 hours to complete, depending on whether or not you're doing it by yourself, with a friend, if you're trying to put it together quickly, or if you're just taking your time. It's a pretty involved process because it's a pretty involved product. The Athena, however, was designed intentionally so that it was much easier put together. It takes about one person, one to two hours per side to put together. One of the greatest benefits of the Athena is its customizability. You can do dual plate loaded, you can do dual selectorized, you can do one of each, you can do a left or right, you can do with it lat low row or without. It's your rack, you do it your way. You asked, so we'll answer. Here's some of the FAQs that we've got. Jack, can you purchase more than one weight stack upgrade? Short answer is no. 
After one weight stack upgrade, the weight selector pin that goes all the way through your weight stack won't reach any further, and it'll mess up your cable links. Do I need to bolt down my rack? Well, so while we always recommend you bolt down your rack for stability reasons, the Athena, specifically the selectorized version, is definitely gonna add a lot of weight to your rack. So if I change the size of my rack, will my Athena still work? No, your cable link will change, so you'll need to order another one through our website, which will be made eventually. Does the finish of my rack affect how the trolleys move on the uprights? So we use a special plastic that allows it to slide very easily on all finishes. However, the matte black powder coat that we use has a slight texture, so it'll make, it'll make a slight difference, but it shouldn't be noticeable. So can I use the ISO arms with my Athena? Yes, and we'll show you a clip from our Aries video about exactly how that works. ISO arm has to be set up below the trolley on the upright. As you can see in the back here, the cable completely clears this bracket for the ISO arm, so it's not going to rub on anything. The spotter arm needs to stay below the trolley because the cable comes off the front above the trolley. So obviously that wouldn't work with your ISO arms. Can I bench inside the rack with my Athena? Yes. Uh, as you can see, as we're demonstrating, uh, there's plenty of room. And unlike the Aries, there is room for your spotter to stand behind you. What about incline bench? Yeah, so unlike the Aries, you know, there's nothing back here. So there is plenty of room for incline bench with or without a spotter. Obviously, if you pair your Athena with a Latin low row, your rear base stabilizer gets in the way back here. You can still incline bench, but you cannot fit your spotter back here. So do I need to put front foot extensions on a four post 5000 series Athena? Yes, for any four post configuration, we always recommend you add front foot extensions to your rack. Thank you guys for watching this video with us. We know everyone loves the Aries, but we're super excited to get the Athena into your hands. And if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to our Colorado-based customer service team. We'll catch you next time.